Good evening, everybody. It's me, Morgan, from the very unofficial travel guides. I'm here at Fantasia Land. We spent the entire day in the park today and had a really great time. And I'm really happy about the measures we saw in place and all the steps that Fantasia Land has taken to make sure that we can have a good time and still have a safe time and feel good about being here. And I am here at uh, their amazingly themed Hotel Ling Bao. You can see it behind me here. There's a fountain here, if you're wondering what that watery sound is. And one cool thing, if you're like a really big theme park fan, one really cool thing about staying at this hotel is, even after the park is closed, Side. Let's go. So normally you have to show a ticket to walk through where I just walked through. You see, there's the turnstile here. But a specific area of the park is open only for hotel guests. And I mean, when I say open, there's no rides are open. There's no uh, shops are open, at least not now. I don't know if uh, during other times of the year, um, if maybe there are you know, things happening in here, uh, but for now, I'm literally <laughs> the only person in the park. Like, it's weird, look at this. This is like a dream come true for an amusement park enthusiast like me. I'm walking around a theme park and I'm completely alone. And I have to be clear, during the day, there is uh, the requirement that you wear a uh, mask covering your mouth and nose. And I would be doing that now and I did do it all day today. Um, but because I know that I am alone in here, uh, I'm not doing it now. If I if I do run into other people, of course I will put one on. And if anybody, you know, asks me to put one on, then of course I will too. But because I know that I'm alone in here, I'm not going to put it on right now. I do have it with me though, however. So behind me, this here is the entrance to an amazing, really unique uh, rafting ride called River Quest. And in my videos that will be coming up from our visit here, you'll see a little bit more about this ride, but this is a, a like a rafting ride that you ride in a round boat. And, you know, I think we've seen, I mean, if you've ever been to, you know, like a Six Flags Park or, you know, Valley Fair, Cedar Point or wherever, you've seen these kind of round rafting rides before. Usually they're like flat on the ground and you go through waterfalls and things like this, but this, is partially in a building and you go up like all the way to the top of there and then make your way down to the bottom. And so, yeah, really unique. A lot of the rides here at Fantasia Land are really unique. Like there'll be the kind of ride system that you maybe have seen before, but then it'll do something that usually you don't expect on that kind of ride. So you can see the gate is closed here. I can't actually go in there, but that is where the ride begins, or the queue area begins. And this area of the park that I'm in here is called the Asia area. And you can see just some of the amazing theming here behind me. So big, so well done, so authentically constructed. I swear I just heard a roller coaster running. Maybe they're testing, training some employees. So I'm walking a little bit further and you can see here, I can't get any further than this gate. And this area of the park back here is where 
uh, a really amazing roller coaster. It's, it's called Taron, T-A-R-O-N. It is the epitome of how much roller coaster you can put into a small space and still make it thrilling. It's got two launches, like where they use uh, magnetic propulsion to accelerate you down the track. And it like, we rode it twice or three times today and every time it literally took my breath away. And that had nothing to do with wearing the mask because uh, like I said, during the day, it's a requirement to wear a mask, including on the rides. And yeah, I mean, it's more fun to ride the rides without a mask, but if that's uh, part of the stipulations that I have to follow to enjoy an experience like this again and help keep myself and the people around me safe, I will definitely wear a mask and I have to say I got used to it. The hardest thing for me was um, my glasses, you know, I wear um, usually during the day I wear glasses when I film, I usually take them off. So a lot of you aren't used to seeing me with glasses, but that's a hard thing because you know, when you have a mask on and it's cold, especially when it's a little bit chilly outside, like it's been today, then your glasses just immediately fog up. All right, back to the theming. Look at this, look at that huge statue. I wanna say that's Buddha, sorry. I may be wrong. This is a, one of the older parts of the park, one of the older like vintage attractions here. Here's the entrance to it. It's called the Geister Rickshaw. Geister means ghost. So it's the ghost rickshaw. And there is a lot of similarities in that ride to Disney's Haunted Mansion and Pirates of the Caribbean. While you're riding through it, you don't know if you should be saying yo ho, yo ho, or Grim grinning ghosts come out to socialize. So right now, right in front of me is an iconic attraction. Has also been here since, I wanna say the early 80s. It's called Colorado Adventure and it was formerly known as Colorado Adventure, the Michael Jackson thrill ride. There you can see the first lift hill and you can see one of the trains parked on the brake run here. The reason that this was called the Michael Jackson Thrill Ride, I've heard a couple different stories and I don't know which one is true and I don't, I wonder if anybody really knows anymore which one is true. One of the stories is that Michael Jackson was actually involved in the planning of this ride. You know that, you know, Michael was a huge roller coaster fan and also a huge fan uh, of Disney Disneyland. You know, he lived in California when he got famous and until he passed away and visited Disneyland very often. Maybe some of you were lucky enough to be there when he was there and, you know, experienced all that. Anyways, he also loved Big Thunder Mountain. You know, I love Big Thunder Mountain. And this ride is very similar to Big Thunder Mountain in many ways. And so one version of the story is that he actually helped design this ride. That's one of the reasons or one of the versions why it was called the Michael Jackson Thrill Ride. Another version, and perhaps the more likely version, is just that he visited the park one time very shortly after this ride was open and there are some famous pictures of him on this ride and that is why they called it the Michael Jackson Thrill Ride for a while and for a long time, there was a big sign right here that stated that it was the Michael Jackson thrill ride, but that's been removed. I can't remember. I think it was here last time I was here, but that's almost 10 years ago too, I want to say. So let me move back a little bit. Let's see. Can't, you know, go much further than this, but you can see to the top of the first lift hill, and then it goes down there and through all those mountainous structures back there. As far as the ride goes, it is a more thrilling roller coaster than Big Thunder Mountain, than any of the Big Thunder Mountains. However, the theming, although it does exist, is a little bit less complete than 
the Disney Big Thunder Mountains. There are times where you're going through dark caves where you can clearly see the steel structures and, you know, light coming in from the side. So it's a fun ride. But uh, I think since, since that has been built here at Fantasyland, excuse me, I have to burp. <laughs> since Fantasyland has built that fantastic, iconic attraction, they've only gotten better and better and better about their like um, e-ticket attractions, about uh, creating theming, realistic, you know, like a fairy tale situation to place the roller coaster or the dark ride or whatever it is in it. Oh, the lanterns just came on. Did you see that? Look. Those weren't on when I entered the park here tonight. Well, look, do you see this big tower? Do you see how tall that is? Inside there is a freefall tower. And it's not like, you know, the kind where you're like sitting on a big pole on the outside and it drops down. The seats that you sit on are attached to the walls and you look at each other as you're going up. And it seemed kind of like there's a mad scientist and he is like, um, I don't know, I guess he's kind of harvesting your screams. He's like harvesting your feared, your, your scared energy is what it is. It is so thrilling. And if you don't know what's gonna happen, really scary, really unexpected because, I mean, when you go in from the outside into a building like that, you, you know, you kind of assume that somehow something's gonna happen and you're gonna end up up there. But the way it happens and the structure and the way that they use these, you know, free fall ve uh, vehicles and technology, like I said, you know that kind of ride, but you've never, nowhere in the world, have you seen it used like it is. Where did it go? Where is it? It's behind that tree. You've never seen it used like it is in this attraction, and it's called um, Mystery Castle. Yeah. I think that's about all I can show you as far as like the interesting things I and mean, we can't really go much further than here. These, uh, this here is a restaurant and this is a restaurant as well, but this is actually outside of the park. This is part of our hotel and that's where we ate last night and tonight. And if you watch the videos that I'll be posting in the next few weeks from our visit here, you will see, um, you will see what we had there. Oh, I know what else I can show you. Uh, <laughs> the actual entrance to the uh, Michael Jackson thrill ride. It's kind of a weird way to get there. You have to go through this entire Asia area or like a really backwoods way. Something I feel like they could kind of improve. It's going to be a long walk here. But so you see, I'm leaving the Asia area of the park behind me here. And I can see that when the, um, when the lighting went on there, that also there's torches at certain areas and the flames went on as well. So there's actually two ways to get to the main entrance of California, wait a second, Colorado Adventure, sorry the Michael Jackson thrill ride. You can see, remember where that was, like way back there around the corner, and one way comes from way down there, and the other way is from back here, and that, that's the entrance. And I know because Marcus and I walked down here last night when it was pitch black, we can get pretty far. And I thought I'd take this walk with you all too. You could hear some of the theming elements here. You can see the similarities to Big Thunder Mountain. Isn't this cool? This is like, I love this. I'm walking around a theme park alone. 
and it's empty and I'm literally by myself. I mean, I'm sure that there's security cameras someplace. I'm sure, I hope somebody's got me on their, you know, radar. Cause it would be so easy to like vandalize or something here. But yeah, you can see more of the theming here as we get closer to the station. And actually, I'm gonna try to show you, you can kind of see right here, you can see the railings on the track. And that is like the last turn before you go into the station here. So on the second floor of this building, you go in down here and then you go upstairs and that's where you board the train. So it's a little bit different than, um, excuse me, burping again. We just had a beer, so, you know, when you have a beer and then start walking around, the bubbles come up. Uh, so different than um, Big Thunder Mountain in Florida and Paris. I can't remember what it's like in California, to tell the truth, but I think in California it's similar to here. Anyways, the one I know the best, Flo the ones I know the best, Florida and Paris, you go into the station at the top and then you go down to get into the train. And here you go into the station at the bottom and you go up to get into the train. You guys see these dots on the ground? Here's one. See those? There's another one. There's another one. And that's to remind everybody what the safe distance is that if the line was to be to here, which it was so not today, <laughs> was very empty today, most of the rides we just walked right onto, but those dots are there for um, just to remind you how safe or what the safe distance is. That is, I guess, 1.5 meters of distance, which is the recommended distance at the moment here in Germany. And you know, these things are changing quite often. That's what it is at the moment. And you'll see in another video I made that there are, um, Announcements playing in the park. There are signs all over the place, um, you know, just to remind us what is the recommended and the, you know, proper required way to act at the moment. And we saw them spraying the lap bars, spraying the shoulder harnesses, spraying the railings with um, disinfectant and at the end or the exit every attraction there is um, hand sanitizer uh, dispensers and any attraction where you have to like touch something um, to uh, you know to participate like in the the 4d theaters or in they have a ride here that's like midway mania where you have to like you know pull on a thing to shoot stuff um, they make you disinfect your hands before you go in the ride uh, and then, of course, you know, they're cleaning the, the glasses that you have to wear after every ride as well. You can see the lights on behind me. There's the mystery castle. Whew. It's getting chilly. It's getting chilly. And I think I've shown you everything I can show you now. So I'm going to wrap this up and just say that a really special day here today. And I'm very thankful that these kind of experiences are becoming possible again. And it's not only because I think it's fun, but I just feel like we kind of need to have fun again right now. And that doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that I think we should stop thinking about the things that are important, but it's important to also take some time off of those things and just, I don't know, recharge yourself and have some fun. I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> so thanks everybody for going on this moment with me here alone in a theme park in Fantasia Land. And um, I hope to see you here soon. Bye-bye.